officers, and he believes the system is working against him. Right here is where they came in. A smashed front window, the entry point for squatters taking over this East Valley home. Is your alarm system? Yeah, it was. We pulled it right out of the wall. And they settled right in, moving in boxes, couches, TVs, even stocking the freezer. When the homeowner called police to report the trespassers, he was shocked to find there wasn't much they could do. In that particular home and in many homes across the valley, police are arriving to enforce these trespassing laws, only to find that the squatters have drawn up fake lease agreements. That way police don't know who to believe, the homeowner or the squatter. Metro's not a judge. They can't judge whether or not it's a legitimate lease. The constable's office handles evictions in Las Vegas, but they have to wait for these fake leases to work their way through the courts. By the time they get an eviction order, weeks have gone by. They've got to be talking to each other to know how to do this, right? Yeah, I, I believe they, they are. The word's out there on the street, and they just break into the house, change the locks, turn the power on, and you know, and then they fight the system for as long as they can. In the case of our East Valley squatter home, it took three weeks to sort out. All the while, the home's been trashed, the pool pumps and heater stolen. This home, $20,000 in damage. What a mess. The constable plans to return to that particular home and try and catch these squatters and arrest them. He is vowing a crackdown, but when you look at just how many vacant homes are out there, it seems like an insurmountable task. We have the latest numbers. This is just for this month. Shows 2,600 foreclosures so far in Clark County. That's just foreclosures. A lot of vacant homes out there for them to keep track of. And uh, the potential for this getting really out of control. Yeah. Especially, you know, hopefully, the, when they start charging people, it'll... Yeah, uh, charges are key, yeah. but they get these repeat squatters. So during that three weeks, they're seeing some people leave, and then new squatters come in, and then they start the whole process over again. It's a huge problem yeah. here in the Valley. Thank you. Thanks, Blake. Well, uh, as you saw in Blake's report there, uh, this is happening a lot around the Valley. So if you have a...